If you are building AI apps, you have to learn how to use Hug and Face. It's one of the top AI companies right now, valued more than $4.5 billion, and it has more than 27K followers in GitHub. And its product used by all top tech company like Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Google, and even Intel with more than 400,000 models for free that you can use covering different types for the AIs like image to text, image to video, text to video, documentation question and answering, computer vision, NLB, text classification, summarization, text to speech, text to audio, and even reinforcement learning. This is why if you are building an AI app, you absolutely need to learn how to use it. So I'm going to show you how you can use Hug and Face with a platform and build apps with it using a public library like Langchain. So let's go. In a nutshell, Hug and Face is a place for you to discover and share your AI models. So there is three parts to this Hug and Face platform that are main for us to focus on. Models, datasets, and spaces. Firstly, the model. In this page on the left, you're gonna find all the categories available from Hug and Face about the models. For example, I want to get models will do a text to speech to transform my text to a voice. So I click the category on the left. On the right, I will find all these models. I'm gonna go with this model from meta facebook and here on the left you will find a description and details about the model and what it can do but on the right this is the best thing about hug and face that you can try the model before doing anything with it for example i'm gonna try to use it i know my name is ham and below it here you can see there is different kind of species that using this model and over here With that, the model card is done. But if you click on the file and version, you can get here and see all the available files that have been uploaded by the uh, Facebook to this Hug and Face model. You can also deploy this model on Hug and Face space. It's a bit slow and have a limit rate, but it gives you a chance to, for deploying this model and trying to use it and share your work with other people. Datasets. It's where you can find a lot of datasets that you can use to train your own model. For example, if I want to, to create a model that can do summarization, I go into category of summarization and select one of these popular dataset that I found. When I click it, it gives us like a preview for what the datasets have and the available information about it. And using this dataset is just the same simplicity of using the Hug and Face models. All you have to do is using the datasets library available from Hug and Face, by the, and that will, it will download the datasets for you using just this code. But probably most of people will not use datasets and just to stick with create with using the model, which leads us to the third and last thing: spaces. Spaces is Initially, it is designed for people that want to showcase and share their AI apps that they built. They allow you to deploy the apps that you have been building very easily on their own machine and they are providing a free version of it too. But on the other side, you can explore what the other people have been sharing here in the spaces and what they build and they build a lot of very cool stuff. For example, this space, I found it uh, using the model XTTS. You can come here and click this button and it will drop down this menu and it will show you what model that this space use. So let's try to use this space and see what it do. Hi there, I'm your new voice clone. Try your best to upload quality audio. And you can click here on files to see the, all the available files for this space and you can use it by yourself. For example, the main file, always the app to buy. If you click it, we can see the entire code that's running this space. How are we going to use these models on Hagen Face while well, we are trying to build an app using Langchain? I will take you through a step-by-step -step example of implementing such a small app that will uh, uh, you give it an image of a uh, food and it will extract it, this image and understand what's inside it and turn it to a recipe and will do a voice and will tell us the recipe in a voice. 
And through this example, we will learn how to use a div uh, hug and face models with language chain and open AI. So I'm building this app using a model that will take an image, look at it and turn it into a text using a model called Salesforce Plip to Opti. This model, I got it from the task of hug and face. Hug and face have so many tasks, like I can leave the link in the description for it. And you can find here different kind of tasks, computer vision and natural language processing, multi-model. I took one of this model the model that will look to an image and track the information from the image and tell you what it is to look like this. If you are using a pre-made pizza dough, let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes before using it. This will make it easier to stretch and shape. You also can get code from the model itself by clicking on it and go here, use transformer, and it will give you this pipeline transformer. And if you want to use this model directory without downloaded on the uh, GitHub, uh, without downloaded on the Google Colab, all you have to do is using this, but it will be much slower. And here we can deploy this using this interface in the point which is dedicated. Starting with our app, we first thing that we're going to need is to install the library of Hagen Face Hub and Transformer and bits and pieces for making this model to work. Then I install Language Chain and OpenAI and type extensions to make it work on Google Colab. Then I logged in using my Hagen Face. Like just you have to do all you have to do is just to click on this link. It will go to your account. Just copy the uh, access token, paste it here, and log in. And that's it, you don't need to do anything else. Then I went out and I got this delicious looking pizza from Google. It's a pizza, pizza with mushroom and bought it over here in this code. Then I then I went to hug and face back and just copied these lines uh, from transformer, pipeline, image to text and the name of the model and paste it over here. And it with it, it download the entire model for me without doing anything. And I call it captioner and I passed the captioner, the image that I have. And it did me, give me this result, a pizza with mushroom, cheese and bezel, bezel on a wooden cutting board, which is correct actually. Then the second step is taking this, take this information and give it to OpenAI so it give me a detailed recipe. So I got uh, language chain up and running by getting a git bash, it, if you run it, it will give you a box. Inside this box, you have to enter your OpenAI credential over here and you don't have to save it on env file. Then from OpenAI language chain, I started to integrate a little llama, give it a template, and pass the variable that should look for, which is a question. Here, I my question give me a full detailed recipe step by step for the result that generated by our captioner. And here, OpenAI returned me the results by give me a detailed step by step what to do. Step one, do the stuff. Step two, do this, and three, and four, and five. And finally, I took this all this information and connect it to the OpenAI text-to-speech uh, model and run it out to give me this final result. Step one, gather all the ingredients, one pre-made pizza dough or make your own, one cup of pizza sauce, one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, one cup of sliced mushrooms, one quarter of cup of fresh basil leaves, olive oil, salt and pepper, wooden cutting board. Step two, preheat your oven. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees U, 280 degrees Celsius. This will ensure that your oven is hot enough to cook the pizza for properly. Step three, prepare the pizza dough. Hagen Face doesn't only have transformer, it have also diffuser that have the state of the art diffusion models that take the text to image and edu generation and data sets and other library that you can use for from Hagen Face. If you want to learn more about Hagen Face, just please tell me in a comment and I'm gonna create more content about it. All right, I hope that you know how to use Hagen Face and I'll start building some super interesting AI apps. If you have found this content useful, please subscribe. I will continue sharing all this AI experiments and projects that I am doing. Thank you and see you next time.